It doesn't take centuries to grow a forest. A Japanese botanist, Akira Miyawaki, showed that by using design, we could grow urban forests not in centuries, but in decades. But when a community considers remixing their space, waiting even a few years can feel daunting. So with support from a public art grant from the city of Watertown, Massachusetts, we explored how residents could see something now that normally takes a lifetime to grow. We collaborated with the incredible musician, Ira Klein, who composed original music based on different plant classifications. Then we 3D printed a pathway of lithophane lights, showing images of a real Milwaukee forest being planted here in Watertown, one that will be fully grown in just 20 years. The lithophanes represented the long-term process, what it takes to plant a real forest, and what we built allowed visitors to imagine that growth and see what it could look and sound like if we sped it up into a single evening. At the end of the pathway, each person received a marble, representing their chosen seedling, and dropped it into a custom-built machine that tracked the collective decisions being made throughout the night. As each choice was made, the music mix shifted, changing dynamically depending on which types of plants were most chosen. Audience members watched as new plant forms were instantly generated inside a 3D digital version of the space. We realized what we were building could transform any location to a temporary forest, not to advocate for planting one there, but to help people imagine what growth might look like anywhere, even in places where it's not practical. At the end of the path, participants put on a VR headset and looked around in mixed reality, seeing how the public space was starting to change. Instant gratification for what used to take centuries. To track everyone's choices in real time, we installed load cells at the bottom of each marble run and measured changes in weight. And as more marbles dropped in, the machine broadcast data over a local Wi-Fi network. By taking a Gaussian splat scan of the park, we created a digital twin of the space. And then using custom software, all the computers and mixed reality headsets could listen in for forest updates and spawn the corresponding plant types in real time. We built this not to simulate nature, but to reimagine our relationship with it, to make growth something you can feel, not just wait for. At Clever Rock Labs, we design systems that bridge imagination and reality, combining the digital with the real and showing that